Hey everyone, what is going on? It is Colin C back from his little tiny, tiny home gym, but it's kind of cool. Got a little thing going on here at my house in my basement. You gotta have a gym wherever you go, right? You can't just always go 10 minutes down the road into your own gym. So while you're all here, Voyager news. I should have shot this at the gym, but honestly, I just didn't have time. I was running around like crazy. Some things that I wanna talk about that I think is very important. We've been on it since day one. I think we've done a great job of doing it. And honestly, that's kind of why I've put Chase in the thumbnail, as you're going to see. He called it, people. He called it. It looks, it looks. Now, not all the stuff is out. Going to try to run down here quick. But it looks like we're only going to get between 35 and at best 51% back of your crypto. Now, that's at best if Binance deal goes through. Binance is only paying about 20 million for 3.5 million users to come to their platform. And on top of that, basically they're getting it for a steal of a deal because their the assets are so cheap right now. So again, gonna be between 35 and 51%. It's gonna be in kind. If you live in like Hawaii, Vermont, Texas, I can't remember the other one. I don't know. Four states that do not support Binance, you have they're gonna have another six months to basically be approved by or get a Binance approved in the state. And then you can get your money back in kind. If not, your funds are going to be liquidated and they're going to be given back to you in dollars, which ain't going to be worth jack shit. I'm letting you know that right now. If they do, if let's say the Binance deal falls through, because again, this is the initial court appearance at the, basically the court and the judge can now hear the case. This does not mean a whole lot. I talked to Chase about this earlier. He's going to try to come on. He's in a court. He's in court all week this week. So I don't know if it's going to happen this week. Hopefully, maybe this weekend we'll see. But basically, it can just be heard now. It doesn't really mean a whole lot because the SEC is still breathing down Binance's back. You still have FTX trying to throw um, Voyager under the bus. And then now... You know, if it doesn't go through, they already said, we're not going to look for someone else to buy it. We're past that point now. We're just going to liquidate. And then this is where Chase was right. He said he'd be shocked if you get over 30% back since the whole time. He said between 20 and 30% at the absolute best. And that's probably what you're looking at. Maybe even under that if Binance doesn't go through. If Binance does go through, you're looking at somewhere between 35 and 51%. Honestly, guys, typically when this happens in crypto, go look back, you typically ain't getting anything back. So we can look at it and say, poor us, you know, we, we, we didn't use self-custody at this time. We made bad decisions, whatever it is. We learn from it, however you want to look at it, or you can go home and cry and, and, and be mad about it. And I understand a lot of people had a lot of money. We had a lot of money on there. For us, the amount of money I had on there was a lot for me. And a lot of people had a lot more. And I understand that. But the bottom line is we made the mistake. We trusted a bad dude, not a good dude in the space, giving out $650 million uncollateralized loans. How absolutely arrogant and just unprofessional, just not respond, just idiotic can you be and that is steven ehrlich for you he 100 percent deserves to go to jail in my own opinion he won't see any jail time of course but he probably should go to jail um and and he i don't know if he's even seen any remorse i haven't seen any him say anything sorry or anything like that but it is what it is you're looking at about 50 percent back hopefully you've been dcaing hopefully you still believe in the space the crypto boys are still all in on the space um but this, these are things that that can happen um, and, and, and like when we start getting our money back, you're going to see that they're going to actually do it on kind of like a rolling system. So it looks like you may get some of your money back here, get some of your money back there, but it's not going to be all at once. So you can't flood Binance by taking it all off. So that I think is smart. Binance will get the billion in assets, but we're not going to let them just drop a billion in assets right away because everybody's going to try to take it off and put it on self custody or sell it or whatever. So I'm okay with the rolling kind of start thing. But, you know, and this is going to go on until April. You're not going to probably get any money back till April. And then if it goes into liquidation, it could be another year. It could be years. But again, you have lawyers fees eating it up. You've got the market market down even further. And again, that snapshot doesn't really mean a whole lot right now. So there's just so many things going on about this case that have changed a million times. And, and I hate to keep bringing it up, but I feel it's very important that's why we brought in the professional. That's why we brought in Chase, because the dude hit the nail on the head from the beginning. 
from the beginning i didn't see any other you and i'm not calling out other youtubers i, I love other cr crypto youtubers don't don't get me wrong but i saw none of them bringing in professionals and actually being able to give you guys legitimate things that could happen could potentially go right could potentially go wrong and everything this dude said hit the nail on the head it's just the way it was so if you've been following our channel which if you're watching this video you probably have been would be my guess then you've been well aware of the possibilities that could have happened. And you understand that this could drop as far as it did because we were going to get 72, maybe even 73% back. And we're already down at your best hope. The best you can hope for is probably 51%. And it could even be as low as 35%. And then if they go into liquidations, it could be probably under 20%. That is how low it can go. And then you're going to have all of these lawyer fees and all these other things to still be paid. You know what? I'm over it. I'm over it. I've almost already mentally moved on, to be honest with you, and just thinking that money's pretty much gone. Like I said, that's pretty much how you have to do it. And it is what it is. There's nothing else we can do. We have to keep fighting forward. We have to keep moving forward. We have to understand that we need to learn from this as well. Just being mad at Voyager is not going to help you at all or being mad at the crypto space is not going to help you at all. You have got to realize that, you know, in us too, that we made a mistake we're going to have to learn from that mistake and we can learn from that mistake and we can get better at it. But the bottom line is there's a lot of shady people out there. They don't care about you. Do not trust them. I mean, there's a, there's tons of people in the space that are bad actors. And trust me, Steven knew what he was doing. He is too smart of a guy running E-Trade, doing all these crazy things to not know giving out this money would absolutely just completely demolish them in the matter of days, in the matter of days that you don't even get anything back in, in a $650 million loan. Like, come on. And then you jump right in bed with FTX, which I don't blame him for that because nobody saw that coming. Well, some people kind of did. Don't get me wrong. Elon Musk being one of them. But, um, you know, and BitBoy did not see it coming. He got told he got clicked off by someone. Trust me. Somebody, someone told him because he was all in on FTX for the longest time, right? His biggest three cryptos of 2022 were, F, were the FTT token. Just to remind you guys. I'm just going on a rant now. I'm a, I've, I've lost touch with what's going on. But yes, guys, we're going to get somewhere between probably 30 and 51 percent back hopefully closer to the 51 percent um it's not what we wanted i didn't want to do this video in my basement but i just read it was able to actually catch up and give some actual feedback the ucc is going to do something live to kind of show us all exactly what's happening they've been meh, they've been okay at best i haven't liked what they've what they've really done they haven't given many updates and to be fair to them totally fair to them they really probably haven't had much updates. After this FTX deal really fell apart, everything just kind of went to a spiral. Um, Binance is getting by far the best deal out of all this. Millions of users for $20 million. That's nothing to them. They're going to get a rolling start. They're going to get help. Now, listen, this still could be blocked, guys. It still could be blocked. This still could go the wrong way. Joe and I on our live tomorrow will make sure we bring this up again because there will be more news out tomorrow that may contradict some of the things I say today. This is ongoing. So this is ongoing. We are going to have to make several videos about this just so you guys know what's going on. But that's all I got today, guys. And and I'm, I'm not kidding you when I say I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you guys rocking with us and, and, and being there and trusting us with uh, at least the news on Voyager and several other things. If you guys have and you guys trust the Crypto Boys and you like what we're doing, if you could give us a like and a little bit of a subscribe, that would help. We're almost at 5,000. It's taken so long. But we will be with you to the end. I will keep making uh, videos on Voyager no matter what. And as always, guys, I appreciate you rocking with the absolute fittest crypto channel on YouTube, and I'm out.